Hello everybody, it's Fufu here and I am back from a lovely long Easter break. I've had a great time and it's really nice to come back to so much support on my channel, so many great comments and loads of people joining in the debate and the questions. It's just really, really fantastic to see and I love interacting with you guys in the comment section. It's been brilliant. And today we're going to get into a video involving Sil Valley. But before that, I just want to address one comment that a few people have left about some of the information that I look into in my videos can be found elsewhere on the internet. And I think it's a bit of a naive comment because I don't claim to be the best source of Pokemon mechanics information. That's not what this channel is about. However, if you go and read something elsewhere, you can never be sure of the validity of how accurate it is or how detailed that information is. And the information in these videos is obviously how it works in game because I'm showing you it in game. So you can always be sure that what I'm showing you is actually how it works, which is one thing that has got going for it over some sites that just have information written there. You can never be sure. And the other thing is that most of the questions that I'm asking are just a bit of fun. Like these situations don't pop up in most battles. And so people don't actually think how does that work in that really random situation? So it's mo mostly just a bit of fun and a bit of entertainment. So you can go up, uh, go on elsewhere and look up information if you need to look up information. I think that's probably the most efficient way of doing it. But for this kind of question, it's just an entertaining video to watch, a really silly situation that you have to manufacture to set up just to see if something works. Um, so, and I think most of you guys see that. It's just a bit of fun and something to be enjoyed. And I'm really glad that you do, and I'm glad that you're joining in and thinking up all these wacky situations that we can try and test. And one of them is going to be today. I'll just get the battle set up and everything, and we'll dive right into it. Okay, guys, so what we're doing today kind of follows on from my Giratina O video. And in that video, Giratina O, which normally has to hold the Grizzius Orb, um, and obviously therefore can't use Z-moves because it, because it can't hold a Z-crystal, it has to hold the Orb. Um, what I did was I transformed Ditto into the Giratina and then tried to use a Z-move and I was able to do it so because we could see what Giratina O looks like using a Z-move. Now I want to do a similar thing with Sylvali holding a plate. Obviously when Sylvali um, holds a plate to change type it can't use a Z-move because it can't hold the crystal. So I'm going to see if Ditto can tr transform into a Sylvali of a different type while it's holding a memory and then try to use a Z-move. And so we've got an electric Sylvali holding the Electrium, no, the electric memory, and I've got an Electrium Z holding Ditto. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm also interested to see whether Ditto's multi-attack will be a normal type or an electric type attack. I'm pretty sure that Ditto is going to transform into the electric type Sylvali, not a normal type Sylvali, despite it not holding the memory, because it always, it generally does that. It doesn't have to hold the item um, for a Pokemon to be in a certain form. So there's the electric Silver Valley. You can see it's yellow little feathery bits and fins and stuff. And here's my Ditto. That's hopefully gonna transform into this electric type Silver Valley. And does it, yes. So you can see that the Ditto has yellow bits on it. So now if we click fight, um, so we've got multi attack here. I'm just gonna go for this just to make sure that it is normal type because Actually, I'm not sure if it will be. Okay, so I'll go for multi-attack with both Sylvali and Ditto this turn to see what happens. So Ditto is using the multi-attack. Is this gonna be not very effective or is it gonna be normal? Okay, so that was just a normal type attack. You can see Sylvali here is going for the multi-attack multi and that is not very effective. Um, so it doesn't actually appear on the screen for Sylvali, despite that being an electric type attack, you couldn't actually it, 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 in the move set, it just appears as it does in Ditto's as a normal type move. So now I'm going to go for the Z move, and yeah, I can use the Gigabolt Havoc, even though normally Sylvali would have to hold the uh, the yeah like electric memory. So that's really interesting. So it seems as though generally, as long as the Pokemon is not a Mega Pokemon, despite it maybe needing to hold an item to change forms, Ditto can still use the Z-move, but Mega, it can't, if it transforms into a Mega Pokemon, it cannot use a Z-move, even though it can hold the Z-Crystal. That's really interesting. So here you can see the electric type Silver Valley going for a Gigavolt Havoc. That is pretty damn cool, but you have to use the electric type move. You can't base it off the multi-attack. There was no option to base that Z-move off the multi-attack, because multi-attack counts as a normal type move, because you're not holding the memory. Okay. 
that's a really interesting experiment. So that one kind of worked. Um, it would have been cool if multi-attack just depended on Silvalli's type, but then it, it like, so because Ditto transformed into an electric type Silvalli, it would still have an electric type multi-attack, but then that would be weird because if a Pokemon went for Soak, then your multi-attack would be water type, so that would be really strange. So I think it makes sense that multi-attack has to depend on the item. And people have asked about Arceus as well and whether it works the same with that. I, I'm pretty sure it does. I thought it would be more interesting to test Sil Valley though because Arceus can actually hold Z Crystals which change its type, whereas that's not the case with Sil Valley. Sil Valley needs the memory. Um, so I'll just finish this uh, this battle off in style. We'll go for two Hyper Beams, see who wins. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for today. Thank you, as, as I say, thank you very- oh, someone who- oh my god, Ditto avoided. Ditto is like a lord. It is an absolute lord. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel for more experimental videos. I've got tons more ideas and also if you've got any ideas yourself, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below because I do check them and this one was suggested to me and it happened to become a video. So this could be you in future watching your question being answered on my channel. Um, yes, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and as I say, get involved in the comment section. I try to reply to as many comments as possible. All that's left to be said is I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.